All right, guys, we're going to start on clothing. Um, and we're going to kind of split this up a little bit. But the first thing I want to start with is your feet, uh, your boots. Um, now, these are a pair of synthetic liner socks. They're very thin. Um, they're sort of like dress socks. Some people prefer to... Um, oops, down here. Some people prefer to, uh, to use dress socks as an alternative to some of the wicking socks that they have at REI. Um, if you do not have access to either of those, you might have access to pantyhose. And yes, I said pantyhose. Um, beyond being a wicking layer, what it's going to do is become a friction layer. Um, in between your feet and your sock, if you have any friction, that's going to create heat, that's going to create blisters. Even if you have in some really good boots that are broken into. Um, pantyhose will create that friction layer so the rubbing will happen in between the pantyhose and the sock and your foot will not have any friction to it um, if you're in the south or even especially the east coast uh, there's a lot more of the, uh, the tiny little ticks uh, like the chiggers and all those little guys um, uh, believe it or not a lot of guys a lot of hunters will wear pantyhose and uh especially in hot weather and stuff and they will attach themselves but they can't bite in and they can't dig in they can't bury themselves in to your legs um, be prepared to have some warm weather socks uh, these are ones that worked out well for me on the last hike these are a cool max um, they're actually you know they're a wicking sock by themselves um, but I always highly recommend a sturdy pair of wool socks um, Beyond, we're not going to go into how many socks you should carry and stuff like that. That is going to be a personal preference for you. Um, what I will say is that as we go through these, um, I want you to be able to have extra pairs so that you can wash the clothes that you're wearing and have clothes to wear. And I want you to be able to repair them. Um, keeping them clean, keeping the dirt and oil out of those fibers will keep things from breaking down. Um, it's, I don't know if I have to really prove it to you. I'm sure you are well aware. Um, if you have some dirty jeans and, you know, your favorite jeans that you don't wash all the time, um, they will break down before clean jeans get washed often. Uh, even that rigorous washing um, is better to get those dirt and oils out between the fibers uh, to break down your clothes. And if we're talking long term here, guys, that's an issue. Um so again, uh, another thing for your feet, um, these are a Gore-Tex sock. Sorry, I'll have to scoot this back. Uh, Gore-Tex socks are a great uh, cheap addition to your footwear, um, especially if you don't have uh, the newest, greatest, latest boots. Um, keeping your feet dry is extremely important. Um, having a pair of comfortable boots that you trust that are well, well worn in um, these are solo full leathers they do have a Gore-Tex liner on them but they are full leather they're, none of them is synthetic um, now because of that they'll be a little bit hotter in the summer um, they're virum sole which means they're going to be nice and stiff they're going to support the weight if you're carrying a lot of weight uh, they'll support yourself whether you're on steep rocky um, granite up on the above tree line um, I trust them explicitly and I got to tell you, I don't know the specific model of these. And I think I've mentioned it before in another video. Um, you'll have to look for it. Uh, these boots were practically broke in day one. They're the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. The only reason I replaced my old Solos is because I had a dog that ate them. Who's sitting right behind me. Um, but it's just all the attention to detail. Uh, it's got great rivets down here. Uh, little wheels to allow the there's no less friction on the actual boot lace which means your boot laces aren't going to be worn as quickly um, nice locker all the way up um, the tongue is fully gusseted all the way in which means all the way to the top of the boot you're not going to get any water in down um, you can have a waterproof boot sorry this is so close um, and if your tongue 
of your boot isn't gusseted, then guess what? You can go through a river this deep and you're going to get wet because it lets it in. If you'll see, this is all the way to the top. Um, there's some important things. Go to a good outfitter store and they can help you size the boot appropriately. Size it so that your, their, you know, your feet are going to swell and get hot while you're hiking and carrying all that weight. And just be prepared for that. Now, if you have the room and you have the weight available, I highly recommend a nice pair of sandals. Um, these have a protectant over the toe. Uh, they're extremely comfortable. Uh, they have vents that help the water leak out. So um, it's basically instantly dry once you go through a stream. Um, but again, you do not want to be in your boots 24 hours a day for days at a time. You need to take breaks. You need to make sure that your feet breathe. If you're going to be crossing multiple streams, it would be a lot better for you to keep your boots dry and switch over to a sandal. Um, even at camp, uh, when you're setting up camp, to be able to get out of your boots, let your feet uh, recuperate for the day. Um, now, another trick, I don't really have another sock here. Um, another trick to do is to take your insoles out. If you don't want to carry sandals or something, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to do this uh, super quick. Um, this is something I used to do all the time when I didn't carry, there we go, when I didn't carry sandals. Is you take your insoles out, you put them into your sock, and you can wear that as camp shoes. It still allows your feet to breathe. It allows you to walk around on rough terrain. Um, and as long as you don't do it a lot, it won't tear up your socks tremendously. Um, but uh, they're super comfortable. They're, they make great camp shoes. And um, there we go. We just spent seven minutes on shoes. <laughs>